BGF is offering the Positive Self-Management Program, which was developed by Stanford University in California in 1997. This follows on from the Chronic Disease Self-Management Program, which Stanford University has been offering for the last 30 years. These programs are for positive people living with HIV. The programs are run over seven weeks for two and a half hours a week. There's usually about 16 people to the workshop. The workshops are for people living with HIV, but people are allowed to bring along their carers or partners if they wish to. They're very interactive and everybody feeds off one another during the workshops. Studies have shown that people react better when they're trained by people who are like themselves. It is for this reason that the workshops are led by two trained leaders, one of which is living with HIV. The workshops are highly scripted and studies have shown that it is not the actual content of the workshop but the way it's taught that makes it so effective. Each workshop builds on the workshop previously. The workshop helps anyone with living with HIV. It doesn't matter whether you're working full time, whether you're on living on benefits, whether you're a male, female, whether you're newly diagnosed or have been living long term with HIV because in the end all of us living with HIV are facing the same problems. The workshops actually help you take better control of your health. They give, we give you the tools to empower you and take responsibility for the decisions you make in your life. We spend a lot of time talking about medication here. It's, it's very important because people often find it's very difficult to adhere to the medications. It could be that you're working and you're travelling and you're not able to take your medications or you could just be really busy and stressed out and forget. So we help people make the choices to choose the medications that are right for them and to be able to fit into their lifestyle. Every week we ask the participants to make action plans. Now action plan is a small thing that you want to do. It's not something that you think you should do, that someone else, maybe your doctor or your partner tells you to do. It's got to be something that you want to do. And it's those small steps that actually give people the confidence and give them the energy to keep going and make themselves feel better. We look at the points of exercise and a healthy diet and whilst we don't prescribe exercise and give people exercise regimes and we don't prescribe a diet, we point out that eating healthily and exercise is very important to main well-being. So we give people tips on how to do this. Emotions are a rather difficult one. We help people identify emotions, difficult emotions. We help them identify stress and we help them identify depression. All of these are really important because they can lead to fatigue. Whilst HIV itself does not particularly cause one of these, each one can feed off one another, causing a vicious cycle of symptoms, making each symptom worse in turn. So we help you identify those motions and along the way how to break those difficult points of the symptom cycle to actually make the disease feel better. In the program we discover the three very difficult dis discussions such as sex, intimacy and disclosure. Now, these three can often overlap one another and whilst they might seem very different, the boundaries between them can often become rather blurred. For me, I noticed, as did my partner, that after doing the workshop, I had a lot more energy, I felt a lot more in control, I had far less doctor's appointments, and I had a renewed sense of a lease of life. I felt at long last that I was in control of the virus, rather than the virus being in control of me.